Hello, uh, it is Thursday the 7th of May and we continue on with our gathering for prayer and for worship. And so we just uh, stop for a moment, we hold silence together and uh, we uh, spend a moment preparing ourselves for that prayer and worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Bring to mind those sins and burdens we wish to leave in God's hands. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 85. Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offence of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God, our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading is from St Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 15. Be careful, then, how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise making the most of the time, because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, the body of which he is the saviour. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to be in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her in order to make her holy by cleansing her with the washing of water by the word, so as to present the church to himself in splendour, without a spot or wrinkle or anything of the kind, yes, so that she may be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hates his own body, but he nourishes and tenderly cares for it, just as Christ does for the church because we are members of his body. 
For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery, and I am applying it to Christ and the church. Each of you, however, should love his wife as himself, and a wife should respect her husband. Our response to that scripture is the canticle Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come now to our saying from the Desert Fathers and a short reflection on it. One of the monks called Serapion sold his book of the Gospels and gave the money to those who were hungry, saying, I have sold the book which told me to sell all that I had and give to the poor. Serapion has received there, through God's grace, wisdom and salvation. He receives the Gospel. He receives the good news that he is beloved and that God knows him to the height and width and depth of his being and that God chooses him. He reads the scripture which contains the living words that tell him all of this and that communicate the teaching of Christ and his apostles. And he so takes them at their word that he sells the book that tells him to do this in order to be able to do these things. Serapion, in other words, has been caught up in the self-emptying love of God. That which he has received is not his to cling on to, beautiful, valuable and good though it is. It is his to understand and then to lose for the benefit of the poor, for the benefit of those who have not yet heard. And again, this is the pattern of the gospel. It is the shape of Christ's life. Even the source of Serapion's religious understanding was to be sacrificed by that very religious understanding. What have you received from God and what needs to be sold in order that you may give to the poor? Our verse from John chapter 12. Very truly, Jesus said, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. We... Pause for a moment to pray. Uh, we continue to pray for Ruth uh, in ICU in Northern Ireland. And I was also contacted uh, yesterday to be told about uh, a gentleman I know in Northern Ireland called James, whose father sadly just passed away. So we pray for James and uh, his family uh, in Northern Ireland and Scotland uh, in their time of grief and bereavement. And of course, this is an even harder time than usual to experience those things. So we pray that they may know the love, the comfort and the support of the Lord at this time. Uh, and we bring to mind all those things that we know, we know we need to pray for right now and the things that are on our own personal hearts. Uh, we just join together in prayer in this moment. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us to dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. In the blessed peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It's been good to pray with you. Uh, tomorrow will be slightly different. Of course, it's the celebration of VE Day. So I'll be uh, recording and putting up a short service uh, commemorating all of that. Uh, so I look forward to joining with you for that. I hope you are safe and well and look forward to joining with you again sometime soon. Thank you.